Air Force One landed here at Palm Beach International Airport around 620 Wednesday evening. And barring some legislative surprise, it will be the last time Air Force One lands here with Donald Trump as president. It's a sight we in Palm Beach have gotten used to over the last four years. Air Force One taxiing at the airport. And soon after, President Donald Trump emerging and walking down the stairs, often with his wife, First Lady Melania Trump. We've seen this more than 30 times since the president took office. Many times throughout the years, the White House has allowed a crowd of people to greet the first family at the airport. On Wednesday evening, there was no crowd. The president and his wife descended the stairs from Air Force One, holding hands before climbing into their SUV and joining the motorcade to Mar-a-Lago. Shortly after, the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, got off the plane, climbed into a car and drove away. President Trump does not have any public appearances scheduled while he's in town, though. There may be some repeats from previous years. I want to thank everybody. I want you to have a great Christmas. He usually makes calls from Mar-a-Lago to troops overseas, and he and the first lady will offer and talk by phone to children from around the country, wishing them a happy holiday. Last year, the Trumps attended Christmas Eve services at Family Church in West Palm Beach. It's an option again this year, as that church is currently holding in-person services. As always, while the president is in town, all roads and waterways around Mar-a-Lago will remain closed. They will reopen once he leaves. And right now, it's not clear exactly when that will be. As of now, the president's annual New Year's Eve party at Mar-a-Lago is still scheduled to go on as planned. But whether he leaves directly after that or waits a few days, that is still yet to be determined. At Palm Beach International Airport, Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News.